the holder of desire. The calm before the storm. It's truly something to behold, isn't it? Makes us wonder. We talk about it sometimes, jokingly, but never in tongues of stone. Butterflies in our stomach, the breath before the plunge. I hope you know what you have started, you who have come so far. If you truly wish to seek me, then you already know what you must have obtained. And if you truly desire the beginning of the end, seek the first halfway house or mental institution you visited in your travels. If you ask me, Remorse's deal was a good one. Such chances only come once. Despite my opinion, if your resolve isn't shaken, you will notice the attendant. Such a pity, the fate to come to one who has caused no malice in the life of others. What a beautiful woman. What a beautiful smile. She will recognize you instantly. If a look of hope spreads across her gleeful face, then you were not meant to be here. This is the first of my disappointments, and I don't expect you to make it far beyond this point. Do not think I do not understand humiliation, false seeker. The attendant should gaze upon you like I would, or any other person in that position under the circumstance. One of despair, of disbelief, and of mere shock. Should the tears deflect from your soulless husk, then go to the wall on the right, and gaze deeply into the portrait of the man. Sorrow is wept onto his face, for he knows. In conquering his depressing presence, close your eyes. No man should face the burden of the future. Remember the innocent days of your childhood, when you lived in your fantasies, running through the sprinklers, smelling the juicy steaks on the grill, shielded so carefully from the grasp of maturity. Remember how the sun shone, how the grass was green. Everyone must have been so happy. Don't worry, they cannot see you right now. Would you want them to? You'll find when you traverse this scene, this paradise, that slowly the grass browns and withers. The clouds thunder in anger and blot the bleeding sun. The cooling droplets of the sprinklers slowly turn to warm blood. Cries echo in the sky only to fall upon deafened ears. And a child all too similar will weep. I will weep. No words need saying, no question asked. Simply, I will ask you if this is what you wish. Sounds so simple, doesn't it? Slowly around you. The scene will vanish, and the catastrophe will spread worldwide. Places you have left your mark on will die, and the residents, they will never know why. But you will. And that guilt, I ask, does it measure up to the power of your desire? The old, decaying stopwatch I will hand you is object 2537 of 2538. You will find that, as you return, it has begun to tick. Despair will be felt in the hearts of the innocent. And they will never know why. But you will, my friend. You will. You will learn, if you have not already, that what is set in motion cannot be stopped.